Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the mode for grouped frequency distribution. Like the previous two videos I've had, we're going to use the same grouped frequency distribution table where we have expenditure on food and the number of consumers. And typically, the first column is known as your X column and the second F. So I'm going to just change these. The mode is a summary statistic that tells us the most frequently occurring value of X in the data set. But we don't have a data set here. Here we have a grouped frequency distribution. So the most commonly or the most frequently occurring number is are those between 30 and 40. So we see here 60 is the highest number. Okay, so this is known as our modal frequency. So we need to highlight this. And that helps us get two of the figures within the formula, L and the C. L stands for the lower bound, and those figures here are the known as the lower bound and these here the upper bound. So our lower bound for the modal frequency is 30. So I'm going to put 30 here as part of my calculation. C is known as the class width and the class width is the difference between the upper and the lower for the modal frequency in this case. So we have a class width of 10. So I'll put 10 in here. All I need are the D1 and the D2 values which I will eventually put in here. But D here stands for difference. And D1 is the difference between the modal frequency of 60 in this example and the frequency figure before it. So I'm just gonna highlight these here. And D2 is the difference between the modal frequency, again 60, and the figure that comes after it. So I'll just note that D1 is 40, 60 minus 20. And D2 is 30, 60 minus 30. So in here, which is a continuation of the formula, D1 of 40 divided by 40 plus 30. And finally, I get my modal frequency equals 30 plus 0.571 multiply the class width of 10 and we get an answer of 35.71 for the modal frequency and notice the answer lies within the 30 and 40 that we highlighted earlier on again thanks for watching check out the next video where i will show you how to calculate the median or the previous one where i showed you how to calculate the standard deviation and the mean